Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. This video is a matter of life and death. Today, I want to share something very personal about me. I was born with a terminal illness. I was told that someday I would die and there was nothing I could do about it. So I asked, why? What, what disease do I have? The disease I have is mortality. The human condition. I learned that I would certainly die from something if a disease didn't kill me, or an accident didn't kill me, eventually my body would wear out. Old age would kill me. I might tread the waters of life for 70 or 80 years, but eventually I would tire, I would sink into death. The Bible states it this way in Job, in Job 34. All flesh shall perish and man shall turn again into dust. I wonder, do you remember when they broke the news to you? about your inevitable death. I think I was probably four, five, six years old when I learned the truth. I want to tell you what happened in the Garden of Eden so you can understand our situation. Now, in the Bible, the story of the Garden of Eden, this is a true story. I know a lot of people today <clears throat> reject the story of creation and the Garden of Eden as a fable. Many people today believe in uh, this theory of evolution. <laughs> That's just a fairy tale for adults. If you're not uh, convinced on that, then <clears throat> I've made many videos on this subject. You can watch the video, uh, uh, Darwin Proves the Bible, or Science Proves the Bible, and you'll see why this Darwinian evolution is, uh, is a crazy idea. So the, the story in the Bible is true about Adam and Eve in the garden. And what happened there is very important for you to understand why we will all die. Adam and Eve uh, were told by God who lived in the Garden of Eden, Eden with them, and God walked with them, lived on earth with them. God told them to not eat from a particular tree called the tree of the knowledge of good and even, evil. God told them that if they did eat from that tree, that they would surely die that day. Well, the devil, in the form of a serpent, deceived them. And the devil told them that it wasn't true that they could eat of that tree and they would not die, but they would be like God. A lot of people think the first sin that was ever committed was for Adam and Eve to eat from the tree and disobey God. But I believe the first sin happened before they ate from the tree. 
It was the sin of unbelief. They chose to believe the devil rather than believing God. The devil said, you will not die if you eat from the tree. God said, you will die if you eat from the tree. They did not believe God. They chose instead to believe the devil. So they ate from the tree. And that's where man's problems began. The Bible says in Romans 5.12, By one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so, death passed upon all men. So because of Adam and Eve's sin, they would die. It took about 900 years, but death finally overcame them. And all of the descendants of Adam and Eve, all of mankind, we have inherited this death from them. It says in 2 Corinthians 1.9, we had the sentence of death in ourselves. So, all people who were born after Adam and Eve were created, we were all born wrong. We were born with a death sentence. Terminal illness. Destined to die. It's in our genes. I guess it's a, a birth defect and there is nothing we can do about it. Or is there? You see, God does not want us to die. So in Second Peter 3.9 it says that God does not desire that any of us should perish. So we, we all have this genetic defect, uh, this uh, body of flesh that will eventually die, but God doesn't want us to die. So what does God do? Well, um, if we fast forward to the life of Jesus, who is God manifest in the flesh, it says in John 3.3, 3, Jesus speaking, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus is saying that we must be born again because when we were born the first time from our mother's womb, we were born wrong. We were born with this birth defect, the uh, death sentence waiting for all of us. So we needed to be born again. Born again spiritually, not physically. So something had to happen so that we could be born again and have eternal life. In Hebrews 2.9, it says, By the grace of God, Jesus would taste death for every man. In Romans 5.17, it says, By one man's offense, death reigned by one much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. So because of one man, Adam, death was passed on to all of us. But because of another man, Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh, 
righteousness the gift of eternal life could be given to all of us in John 3:15 it says whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life so whoever believes in Jesus Christ will not perish will not die but instead will have eternal life John 3:16 says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God saw our hopeless condition, that we all had this death sentence. a terminal illness and it needed to be cured. We needed to be healed. God didn't desire that any of us should perish and die, so God loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, to die for our sins, to die so that we could live. In John 5, 24, it says, When we believe on Jesus, we have passed from death unto life. So the death sentence on us is removed. Our terminal illness is healed. And we have life everlasting when we believe on Jesus Christ for our salvation. Revelation 21.4 says, God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. I love this verse. God wiped away all our tears. We'll never have to cry again. There'll be no more sadness, no more reason for tears, no more death, just eternal life. No more pain. Personally, I've had a lot of physical pain in my life. But I'm, I'm happy to know that eventually my pain will be gone forever. 2 Timothy 1.10, it says, Our Savior, Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to us. You see, as a human being, we're born as mortals and we will eventually die. But our Savior, Jesus Christ, he cured the problem of death, he abolished death, and he brought life, immortality to us. We get life, we get immortality, eternal life, when we put our faith on Jesus as our Savior. Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It might be one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. In that verse it says the wages of sin is death. It's because of man's sin, because of Adam and Eve sinning, and we inheriting this uh, uh, terminal illness, this mort mortal body that's destined to die. The wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life. We can receive eternal life as a gift from God through our faith in Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, it says, So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, 
and this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? Jesus Christ defeated death for us. We no longer have to fear death. We will live forever in heaven because of our trust in Jesus Christ as our Savior. I guess I would choose John 14, 6 as my favorite verse in the Bible. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In that verse, Jesus proclaims that he's the way. He's the way to receive eternal life. He's the way to get into heaven. He even says he's the only way. You can't receive it any other way except through him. He says he's the truth. If you want to know the truth is, it's a man, Jesus Christ. He says he's the life. He is eternal life. And he gives it to us when we trust him. Trust Jesus Christ. Put your complete faith and reliance in Jesus Christ for your salvation. Believe in Jesus Christ and he will give you everlasting life as a free gift, no strings attached. John 5, 24 says, We have passed from death unto life. Hallelujah. I am no longer mortal. I am immortal because of my faith in Jesus Christ. And I hope you too will put your faith in Jesus so you can have eternal life in heaven. Amen.